Hello. In this video, we're going to cover setting up, installing, and using Easy Dime Sale Pro Scarcity and Dime Sale Management WordPress plugin. The first thing that you do is after you download the files, you'll unzip them and you'll upload them to your web server uh, wherever your blog is located. Uh, for this video, I'm testing on a test blog that is on the EasyMemberPro.com website. And as you see, we're in the test blog there. Here's our Easy Dime Sale Pro software. Just like any plugin, you'll navigate to WP Content Plugins. And then you just take the folder, and copy the whole thing. It's pretty small, so we should upload pretty quickly. And now we have the necessary files on our server. So what we'll do next is we go over to our WordPress blog. We'll go into the admin. We'll go over to plugins. And now we'll see our new Easy Dime Sale Pro plugin there. What you're going to do is you just go ahead and you click activate. And our plugin has been activated. Now it's all set, ready to go. That was pretty easy, and you'll now see here you got the Easy Dime Sale Pro added to the navigation menu with two options. You got your Easy Dime Sale Pro, and there's just a quick link if you want to add a new product. We'll go ahead and we'll click here, and this is the Easy Dime Sale Pro main interface page, if you want to call it. And that you'll see normally you'll have no products so now you're ready to start selling a product well let's create it what you do is you click add new product description let's say we're actually going to sell the easy dime sale for a plugin so we'll title this uh, easy dime sale pro WP plugin Now we have a starting price here. If you're uh, the Easy Dime Sale Pro, what it does is it'll allow you to limit your offers. You can limit it by sales. For example, let's say you only want to sell five of them. You click that, you put in five. Uh, if you want to limit by time, let's say it's a 24 hour sale, you will click by time, fill all that out. And you'd enter a message here, you know, your offer message. Uh, this offer is no longer available and we also have the dime sale functionality increase price so we have a starting price let's say you wanted to start it off for 25 cents you wanted to increase that by 25 cents every five sales until it reaches a value of ten dollars Here you would enter your PayPal address. Uh, if you wanted to test a purchase, uh, sandbox mode, you would put your uh, sandbox email, live product, we'll use Ken's email here so this way I can complete a purchase download URL. Uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward It's simple. Uh, the script for now just allows you to provide a, a, a download URL. Uh, it doesn't provide any special um, like expiring download links or anything like that. Most likely we will look to add in some of these uh, features into it in the future uh, but for now it just provides a uh, download URL which is pretty much like a thank you page URL. And for that, we can just now that download URL is not going to actually work, <coughs> uh, but it is there for an example. And this will be uh, this is where you can enter the order detail information. Not only 
when the customer returns from PayPal? Will their download information be embedded into the blog? Uh, but for extra measures, we also send an email out to them with the download link as well, just in case anything happens and they didn't happen to see the page or they hit the wrong button in PayPal or anything like that. And this would just be, you know, download access for description. The description is the name of your product. Uh, following tags are available, which is first name, last name, description, download URL, uh, admin name, and admin email. Uh, I didn't upload the most, most, most recent change, so... Okay, and then we'll do we just save the changes? And now it gives us uh, a little short tag embed code. And all you have to do is copy and paste that into a page or into a post, and it will automatically put everything in there for you. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and let's make that happen. Let's see, we'll go over here to posts, we'll go add new, we'll open that in a new tab. Uh, I already have uh, some, a little bit of copy over here. And I'll just copy and paste that into my uh, page here. It didn't take any of the formatting. That should be okay. We'll just set that as H1. Whatever. And you would just come over here and grab that get code, copy that. Put that into our post. And then we published a page. And go ahead and check that out. Uh, it looks like our uh, Easy Member Pro plugin. Uh, has been activated on this page. And we need to go back and we need to set it. To visible to everyone because I'm not logged into EMP. That's actually a different plugin for our other program, uh, Easy Member Pro. If you want, you can go ahead and take a look at that. It's uh, see it right up here, EasyMemberPro.com. Now that we set the post visible to everybody, let's update the page. And we'll go back to it. And here's our post. Get easy dime sale pro. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Looking for a simple solution to sell your products with your blog. And here it is. And it shows that the price is 25 cents. We'll go ahead and we'll buy that now. See the descriptions up here. It's got an item number two. Item price, 25 cents. I have a PayPal account. No, I do not want to use bill pay. Yes, I want to use my PayPal balance and I'll pay now. order is complete we're going to automatically be redirected back and it says payment complete we have sent you an email with your payment details and download links you may also download your product below this is product access download easy dime sale pro WP plugin and if you see down here on the bottom that is the link that we provided as the download link and it works that easily and that quickly.
And that's pretty much the overview. Uh, let me go back. Actually, it'll show us how many sales. If we go back and edit, it shows that we had the one sale. Uh, we can always reset our sales at any point. You can set it to 10 sales. You can set it to zero sales. And it'll start over with the new price increase. Same with the limit offer. If you're limiting by sales, and you're only selling five, and your current sale says five, you cannot accept any more offers. However, let's say somebody refunded, so you want to subtract that. And we'll say we only had four sales, and it'll allow us that last final sale. And that's it. That's Easy Dime Shell Pro in a Nut Sale. It's uh, pretty straightforward. I don't think anybody will have any complications with it. Uh, as I said, we do plan on adding some more uh, robust uh, functions in the future. And uh, enjoy the script. Please let me know what you think.